Good morning, you guys. We're up early. Early, early, early. I'm having my green juice right now. So I'm thirsty. Um, we're going to go right. We're going shopping. <clears throat> we're going shopping. We're actually going to go to Ross. I don't really go to Ross on my days off. And um, we're going to go to Marshalls and get those bags. Yeah. Um, and we're going to go to Ross to see if I could find a jacket there too because I'm trying to go to multiple stores and see which one I'm going to get. Every store has a nice jacket. Like, mm -hmm. every store that we go to, so. And then when we come back, we're going to clean out our closets, get mm -hmm. rid of my clothes, um, and stuff like that because yeah. I want to donate as much as I can to, like, replenish, you know what yeah. I mean? I want to clean out my closet. I'm, like, dazed out because I have way too much stuff in my room and I'm tired of like, do you ever feel like you go into your room or to your house and you feel like you can't even breathe? Like it's like looking at the same walls every day. Like mm -hmm. I just wanna get rid of everything, everything, everything. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm also gonna be cleaning out my makeup and stuff like that, getting rid of more stuff. So we'll show you once we clean out our stuff and show you, um, Oh yeah, we're yeah. gonna go buy bathroom stuff as well. Cause mm -hmm. I'm a, I clean the bathroom every Saturday, and I like mm -hmm. to change it, you know, mm -hmm. once a month. So we can't seem to find now the black shower curtain. We're hooked on that, like the inner liner. I'm gonna do an Amazon order because mm -hmm. I wanna do. Um, I wanna buy some stuff for myself, so I'll just get them from there. I'm gonna get the clear one for this month, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna just do an Amazon order. I'll show you what I get. Yeah. Do not mind my floor and the mess. This is all going to the Salvation Army. This is not including mugs that I'm getting rid of. A lot of like the blender, not the blender. There's like this little blender thing that I have. Uh, this thing to put Woody's food, like curtain, curtain rods, uh, mugs, all types of stuff we're getting rid of because a lot of the stuff here is brand new. I have a lot of phone cases, as you can see that Samsung case cost over like $60 I'm giving that out a whole bunch of stuff iPhone stuff brand new stuff leather jackets and stuff like that and we can't donate none of this to the salvation to the women's shelter because they want stuff with tags and we do have a lot of stuff with tags but um, they never pick up the phone and they rather receive like paper goods and like stuff like like feminine washes and stuff like that so that will be a separate video and another time that we'll do that. And then we're also sending stuff to Dominican Republic. We actually have a pile here. And then my dad has another pile, brand new stuff. We could have easily done like a giveaway and give stuff to subscribers and stuff. But, you know, I just find like our kindness is always taken for weaknesses. And like people take advantage of that. Like I know a lot of people always, oh, send me this. I want this. But they never offer to pay for shipping. Shipping is over like $40 right now. And it's like, you know, people always want you to do for them. But they never like consider it. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know what? I'd rather take my losses and just donate everything to the salvation even if they make money off of me you know what i'm not the only one or the last one that's gonna do that so um, yeah like we, we're gonna show you some of the the pile that we have for dr right marlin here. just dropped everything on the floor by the way and then this is all the stuff with tags a lot of this shirt like this one has a tag on it this one all of them a lot of them so a lot of the stuff that she was saying is basically brand new a lot of the stuff i have tried on took out the tags you know how you think you're gonna like it and then a few years later, you know, the, the fashion, you know, style changes, changes yeah. or you lose weight. So a lot of these things are big for me. And then, you know, Darlene has a lot of her sizes. Yeah, that she's like these jeans. Do not mind the background here. These jeans are brand new. I only wore them like maybe one time and mm -hmm. they're super stretchy. Uh, this dress right here is from Nicki Minaj, brand new with tags. Uh, these shirts are all brand new, like, you know, like graphic T-shirts, like Tom and Jerry, things like that. All of these shirts are brand new, never worn. We just took the tags off. So all of this is either going to go to the Dominican Republic or is going to go to a woman's shelter. I've donated brand new guest shoes, everything you could think of. Steve Madden shoes, everything, heels. Like, I'm just cleaning out my room and I feel so good just getting rid of stuff mm -hmm. because this is just the beginning of what I'm getting rid of. So I have some empanadas here. I put some 
cheese chicken from the meat yesterday and some craisins. I'm going to put them in the oven today to try it out and see. I'm going to be spraying it with some coconut oil on top and then on the bottom and see if this will work. Because I know you could bake them. I've read it in the packaging that you could bake yeah, them Yeah, but in these the aren't not the ones to bake. So I'm going to try it yeah, this way. Yeah, I know way. that, but I'm just saying that we're going to try it to see. My air fryer, I left it in Florida, so I don't have my air fryer. If not, I would have done it in there, but... Yeah, I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 for like 30 minutes and then flip them over. I'm going to flip them over, add coconut oil, and then I'll show you in 30 minutes how they look. You guys, look at the empanadas in the oven. 30 minutes, 375 we did. Look how freaking good. I'm never frying them again. I, I tell you that much. Was gonna be it. Amazing. I want to try it with... um. We put cherry craisins. We've never done that, so I'm gonna try it really quick and tell ya if it's a go. So this is dinner tonight. Leftover meat from yesterday. We did broccoli with garlic and a little bit of cheese. And this is the empanada. I'll put it on the screen how it tastes. So we're watching Paranormal Activity. I've seen a couple of them. This is a new one that we're watching. Let me know if you've seen these movies before. By the way, I don't like these movies. They creep me out. I don't know what we're talking about. Burlington. Let's see what we find. I haven't been here since probably last year. And we came that early. Yeah. I purposely came in at 10. Old people hour. So as I said before, I haven't been to Burlington in decades, it feels like. They had a lot of cute stuff. They had cute purses and stuff like that, but... I didn't see anything that really catched my eye. Like when I used to work there, things were a lot different. Like they had a whole jewelry section, you know, they had a whole bunch of Betsy Johnson purses all the time. Now you don't really find that that much. Um, so check this out. We went to Burlington, what, like last week morning? Mm -hmm. And then we went today because we wanted to see if we found the coat that Marlene, you know, wanted to purchase. Um, we ended up finding the shampoos. What was the name of it? The uh, Mexican shampoo. Yeah, I think it's called Nacho something, but I could be I could be wrong. Yeah, Tio Nacho. Um, and we were looking at those uh, shampoos today, and there's like uh, alcohol in it and sulfate, so we didn't get it. We ended up seeing some other shampoos today as well, but they had sulfate as well, and it just like, excuse me, it's like dries your hair out, especially alcohol. So we like to tend to watch out for that stuff but look at these kiss lashes you guys like i said again in ulta and stuff like that and drugstore they're over seven dollars this is why i like to go to these stores because you usually find them for the same price like usually tj maxx burlington and ross um so they had a lot of cute jackets on here as well like they had a lot of cute coats like just as um where else did we go? Marshalls and Ross. But I think Ross and, that one's a cute jacket. Ross and uh, Burlington have a lot of the similar jackets. That one was cute as well too. They had a lot of like bed sheets and like, um, like home decor. Of course, I had to look at the mugs and I really wanted to get a mug, but I could hear my father just telling me why are you getting more mugs we were trying to look for the rejuva care uh, liquid or the skin hair skin and nail pills but they didn't have them i was looking at the kettles you guys at the tea kettles i used to have one and i got rid of it because it was all like stained and everything like that and then i know that a company sent me one like what is it called it's like one of those uh tea maybe thermal things that yeah. you just connect the water i have to find it i can't find it so i'm gonna keep looking if not i'm just gonna buy a new one we also did go to ross right here as you can see this one was a cute jacket as well my sister was debating this one is guest as well um the red one was really nice as well my sister liked that one we both liked it my dad liked it as well super nice like they had a lot of nice cute guest jackets um, and then we also went to, uh, this was Marshall's, uh, they had cute, like Hello Kitty bags. Like I really wanted to get this makeup bag, but I'm like, I don't need it. You know what I mean? Like just to have it out there. 
so we did that and then we also did go to ali's as well ali's has amazing stuff like if you're looking for like you know recipe books and like you know seasonings and like detergent and things like that like ali's is the place to be at i love ali's i don't know about y'all but i love it So this is the stuff that we got from the bath for the bathroom. If I could speak, the shower curtains we got from Ross. Um, we ended up finding the shower liners. Two of them we ended up getting for four ninety nine. We got this bath mat in Marshalls, and then we have these kitchen towels that we got for four fifty. It comes with gray and white, but we're only gonna use the black one for the bathroom. So I will show you when it's completely finished. Look how cute my shower curtain is. Bathroom is clean. Don't mind the little dusties. And then this is the bath towel. It's a little bit big, but that's okay. And then there is my bath mat. Super nice and clean. I'll work on that one. I know what you did last summer. For 31 days, we're gonna be watching scary movies. I gotta get back to work. Call me. Get so I went to the Dollar General really quick and I got some paper toilets. I have some already at home, but I wanted to buy more because these were on sale. I ended up getting these air wicks because if you bought one, like the whole kit with the refill, you get one for free. So I ended up getting this one and then which I got the wrong one because they're both it was supposed to be air wicks, but that's okay. I think I can use these on the air wicks, so it doesn't matter. I got me a journal. This one was $5. And this reminds me of growing up back then. So I like to write stuff down every day. So I got myself a journal. Oh, and it comes with this. I like these. I ended up getting a downy because it was on sale as well. I got two snapples for Marlene because she wanted it. And then she wanted some chips the two for a dollar and then we got these for my brother limited edition ones so that's everything we got by the way they didn't have the sandals so we're gonna go to another dollar general to see if we find them so this is my new cup let's see if it changes i have my tea right here i boiled the water um so let's see if it changes is it gonna change I don't know. Let's see. It's changing. It's changing, you guys. It's changing. I'm so excited. OMG, is it changing? Look how cool, you guys. It's beautiful. I was like screaming. Like, I love it. Watching Harry Potter. I said scary movies for October, but I wanted to see the first one. Let me know which one is your favorite one. One through seven. Difficult. Watching Harry Potter too, because I love it. And it'll be dangerous, very dangerous. It was a Harry Potter night, and we ended up getting pizza because it was fifty percent off. We got the habanero chicken kickers. We got five cheese, uh, just the cheese, chicken bacon ranch, and then we did sausage and pineapple on thin crust. So good. So don't mind the heater. So. I want to show you some of the stuff we got from Ollie's. I swear we got more stuff because where's the sponge, the the beauty blender and stuff. Axel Jose, they might have. Okay. So we ended up getting these uh, dipping thins before and my dad really liked them. So we have to get another one. We ended up getting this cornflakes. These were $2.59. This was the family size. And then we ended up getting this special K because it's new. So we ended up getting this. We got some garbage bags. These were $9.99. Uh, my dad got um, his friend's kids. They're like, what? Three years old, three to five years old. And they really love my dad. So we ended up getting them this. I told my dad to get them this. This was $5.99. And it comes with mad books, as you can see. So if you have kids or anything, and you want to do like a Halloween basket, this is perfect for them. Um... We got this Real Techniques uh, sponge, I was gonna say brush, for my sister. We got some glass cleaner right here. 
and then we ended up getting some of these Glade refills. We got some of the Airwick ones as well. And then we ended up finding this set of soap. And it smells so good. They have a lot of stuff from Dove. So if you love Dove products, I would go and check them out. Because they have, for men, they have for women, a whole bunch of bar soaps and shower gels. All types of different, like, fragrances. Some from... So from Wise, I ended up getting some salad kits. I ended up getting this Greek Caesar one. These were two for seven. I got the Thai mango chili one because we like this one. I swear a subscriber told me to get the Taylor Farms. I could be wrong, but I've tried this one before. Super good. And then we got the Thai cashew ones. I ended up getting two of these, so I just took one bag out. These were two for seven each. I got Martin some so uh, sunflower seeds because... Growing up when we used to go to Pizza Hut and they used to have that salad buffet thing, we used to see my mom putting these in her plate and this is why Marlene wanted them. And then I got these cheese and garlic croutons. These were two for five as well. So from Burlington, my dad wanted to get these ginger chews. So we're gonna try these out. Um, we ended up getting these um, bed sheets. We got this one for me. This one is $17.99. This reminds me of like Betsy Johnson, but it's not. Then we got this one for, no, that one is for my sister. This one is for me. Um, Christmas theme. We're just going to skip to Christmas theme. And then we got this one for my brother. This one was $20 because this is the only one that they had. Um, everything else was Christmas theme, but it was similar to this. So we just got him this one. We ended up getting these under eye patches because... My sister's been wanting them, and I always have them on stock, but I don't have any more. So these were $3.99, so we got three different kinds. So when we were leaving, we ended up seeing this Sonic beanie, and this is for kids. Straight up for kids. We could give them one of these ki the kids these gloves in blue because they have the mini ones. And this was $7.99. I told my sister she had to get it, so she's going to be wearing this. And then on the counter and the checkout, um, I ended up seeing these socks and I could not pass up on these socks. Right now I'm going to go clean out my sock drawer because my washing machine eats all my socks. So I have different ones. And then we got the Chucky one because we had to get these like seriously. Lastly, but not least, we ended up getting this jacket for my sister because this is the only one they had. This one is from Aeropostale and this was $24.99. The one that she wanted, which one was it? Calvin Klein? It was Calvin Klein's. It was $70. This is why I say when you find something in these stores, you have to get them. Because yeah. all weekend I was thinking of the jacket and I went today to get it and it wasn't there. It's just like this jacket, but it's a lot thicker because it was like... A um, bubble. Yeah, it was a bubble. And if you wet it, like all you got to do is wipe it down. But that it's, one, you can wet it and wipe it down as well. Let me try it on really quick. Look how cute. Yeah. Super, super cute. I love this. I love this. And it was only $24.99. Mm -hmm. She has the jean jacket on so she can wear it with anything. And that's a good deal. So we're making Chinese food. All of this is self-explanatory. Just put the egg rolls, the crab rangoons or cream cheese wontons in the oven. And then as well with the general's toes, chicken, all you have to do is put this in the oven. Um, it tells you the instructions and then they want you to put it in a pan and just heat up the sauce. So we're going to do that and we're going to do white rice. Marlene, what do you want to say? This one is better than the ones that they sell in the actual Chinese place. Believe it or not, I don't like frozen foods. But this one is my favorite. I'm yeah. telling you right now. They even have, I think, a mango one, a honey one, a sesame one. It tastes like real chicken. And then when you order it from the Chinese spot, from the, you know, the ghetto, you tell them to give it to you spicy. And it don't taste spicy. But this one. It's spicy. Yeah. As well. It's spicy. It's really, really good. Really so. good. We'll show you when everything's completely done. But this brand, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Try it out and let us know what you think. So we are making fried rice. Um, we got some raw ginger, raw garlic with a little bit of olive oil. And then we did some peas and carrots and some bean sprouts. We're just letting this cook away. Um, we added a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic powder to the vegetables because we want it to be seasoned. What else, Mark? And then before the food police starts bugging out, we are using olive oil. We know we shouldn't be using it, but... You know, you do whatever you want in your kitchen because you know how it is. Yeah, I don't like, I don't do sesame oil. 
I did it one time for this recipe that I was making and I'm traumatized because it said one eighth of a teaspoon and for some reason it tasted way too sesame -y to me so mm -mm. so we do have this at high heat now we're gonna add some of our jasmine rice and we're just gonna break this in because it takes a while to incorporate it together so we're gonna use regular soy sauce and then some hoisin sauce technically you want to use dark sauce dark soy sauce but we can never find it not even in the chinese food aisle so we're just gonna improvise with what we have so you want to start adding some soy sauce and you want to keep breaking this down it does take a while to break it down but yeah, when you make this, you want to make sure you cook your night your, your, your rice a couple days before so that it can be cold because if you do it the same day you're going to make the fried rice, it's not going to work out. It's going to Yeah, it will be mushy. Okay, you guys, so this is our pale ass fried rice. It's pale just like us, but it tastes good. Um, I think the bean sprouts are like vinegary. Um, I don't know why. But um, I guess it's the liquid inside, but it tastes really, really good. Like it's seasoned well, flavorful. It's just pale. I am going to add some hoisin sauce now and just use a fork to mix it around because I find a, a big spoon like, you know, makes the rice like overly mushy and stuff. Um, We did rinse the sprouts, by the way. Yeah. So they were just in, you know, whatever juices. Liquid. Yeah, yeah this is they... the first time we use, I think, sprouts. And I'm gonna be making my eggs separate to add to the rice. Don't they sell the, like the fresh sprouts in the supermarket? Those are the better ones yeah, to get. Yeah. We should have gotten those, but we didn't have anything. Yeah. So, whatever. Just improvise with what you have. And I, I'm grateful. First of all, it's Monday, and our Chinese food place is closed. Mm -hmm. We would have bought this, and we would have spent over fifty dollars. We're gonna show you um, everything that's in the oven, and we're gonna show you when we plate it up. So this is how much hoisin. I don't know why my sister got me into this, and I kind of like this a lot. So that's like Asian and uh, for Asian food. So yeah, it's like for stir fries and stuff like that, and dipsy, dipping sauce. Let me try it. Let me see. It tastes sweet. It almost tastes like a barbecue yeah, sauce. Yeah, I, but... I swore. Um, I heard Jet Tila say it's like the Korean version of their barbecue sauce over there. It's a sweet and smoky flavor. It can be brushed on meat, poultry while grilling or broiling, or used for dipping. Oh my mm. God, that sounds good. We should use this for chicken. Ooh. And put it in the for oven. our next recipe, let's yeah. do that. So I'm going to incorporate this in, and then I'll show you when it's everything is completely done. By the way, I'm going to cook eggs separately, and then I'll add it to the fried rice. So I did my eggs. The rice is ready. The hoisin sauce did give it some color. So it is so good. If you guys want to see a different recreation where we do like shrimps or maybe like some pork in it, leave your comments down below and we'll do that for you guys. So you guys, this is what the general house or toast chicken looks like. Um, you put it in the oven. I could have let it go a little bit longer if I wanted it crispy. But to be honest, there's no point in that because the sauce, the longer it boils, the meat becomes soggy after a while. Like... You know what I'm saying? So it does come with two packs of the sauce, which I love that, um, as you can see. It's delicious, you guys. I, to me, I don't know why, but this one tastes better than when I get it from the Chinese place. Yeah, because it's not like God knows how long Like that it really meat. has like a good balance of sweetness and heat at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And not only that, like you could even save this sauce like I was telling my sister because I know this meat is the same meat that they use for the sweet and sour. So you can easily use this sauce um, for vegetables, for a stir fry, for something else, for lo mein. If you do vegetable lo mein, like if you want it spicy um, and they have a different um, kinds of meat that you can use. Like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like for me, the spice level is a little bit spicy. But it's so good with white rice or fried rice. OMG. Let me try to mix this up because I don't like any other sauce to go to waste. Hold on. I'm going to leave that right there. And then all you want to do is just mix it up. Right? And then just put it on low heat. As you can see, it's a good amount of sauce and it covers the whole thing. You can even do like shrimps. Save the sauce for shrimps. Or something like that and there you go you guys I'm gonna just let this on low for like 10-15 minutes because you want it to get nice and thick 
and then that is it we're ready to eat so this is dinner vegetable egg rolls and then general sauce chicken fried rice now for the video's purposes, this is how I plated it. But if not, I would have just packed everything on <laughs> to the top. Because he's going he's gonna to want more rice. We yeah. saved ourselves over $50. And the food is delicious. Like, Dad doesn't like crab rangoons, by the way. He yeah. doesn't like cream cheese. So. Wonton. So, this is dinner. So, recap. Don't mind this. I'm smoking hookah. But um, we didn't really do much. This week, no. Mm -hmm. Well, we went shopping like last week, browsing, mm -hmm. and then we started shopping this week because yeah. we mm -hmm. like to go to different stores and look at see what different sales and stuff like that. So, um, the jacket was gone. Yeah, somebody took my jacket, but it was my fault. Yeah, I had the money the day, but I is since I went to so many different stores, I'm like, let me just hold off because I might go to another store mm -hmm. and see. And they stole it. I mean, they took it. Yeah. Actually, when we nothing. were in Burlington today, my my dad was watching this guy stealing the whole time. So it's like you know somebody was there was stealing. So By the like, way, I've been looking at um the news and stuff like that, like the feeds on my Instagram, and they were saying that they're closing. I don't know if it's Target or some store in California. They're closing a whole bunch of them because that's how much people are stealing. Like my dad said, this guy had. A sweater on and he like stuffed it with stuff and like the alarm was going off in the front and they have like this older lady there she must be like in her 80s I kid you not and mm -hmm. it's just like you know they have her there which you know I know that they I mean, shouldn't she even really gonna yeah do? Like, they shouldn't have her there because it's dangerous just really not it's, it's her dang her. yeah it's like, dangerous I, don't, I mean like I went the other day and I'm like Marty what is this lady doing here like I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that but I know I worked there for four years. I know how it works. There's a like, lot of theft there. It's mad ghetto. It's mad, like, it's dangerous. There's, like, putting her there is harm's way. Because yeah. if she goes and does her job, right? Somebody could just run her over with yeah. the cart or something. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how, you know, <laughs> that's how it is. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Like, I see that happen all the time. So, you, you guys, know. I'm not really trying to laugh, but it's like I'm in the middle of smoking and trying to do yeah. this video and we've done it three times. Yeah. So it's like, you know, the life of a girl like me is not easy. No. It's actually easy to say, yo. Yeah, I'm having ginger tea right now. My cup is soaking. Fuck that tea. So Money, that shit shut out. up. So, um, what else that we were going to say? The Chinese food was really good. Yeah, Chinese food. was all right. <laughs> Money, shut the hell up, dumbass. No, it was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. I'm going to munch on some more meat. Um, not yeah. for nothing. If, if yeah, listen, just get the meat. Just get that meat. Yo, when I tell you that meat is everything, it's so good. It's so flavorful. Even if you don't eat the meat, make it for your kids with like dipping sauce on the side. Just use the general's towels or toes sauce for something else. I'm telling you, it mm -hmm. is amazing. It's really good quality meat. Yeah. And That's we, why I like it because... You know, some of that frozen shit sits there for years, and when you cook it, it's all in pegotao, like in That's why, why do you think a lot of people don't use canned oh, products? Let me tell y'all what we did one day. And I know I should have never done it because being a cook, not that I'm like, you know, qualified with credentials or anything, but in my own home, I'm Chef Boy RD over here, and mm -hmm. I cook very, very great for our taste buds here. Me and Darlene decided to go to Price Shopper one day, and we went through, the, like, the frozen section, and we had seen some butterfly shrimps. And I'm like, why would I even want to get this? Because I know it's been sitting there, mm. and it's going to be soggy. Did we still not buy it? We bought it. We Trash. took a bite of it, and we threw it out. Squirrels and skunks and everybody do back there. Ever. Do it fresh. And what is it called? What is that? That... Not a greyhound. It looks like a greyhound. Maybe it is. Like, almost like a rat. It's back there. They, I mean, they just eat, they eat everything. The that we skunks do. be down there, and then... Um, Squirrels be there. Yeah. Sometimes bears and stuff like that. But, you know, that was just a waste. It's better to cook at home. Mm -hmm. We saved ourselves $50. We're going to the movies this week, because I know a lot of you guys like when we watch... Go to the movies, and we've been watching movies every week. Like, every night we've been watching movies, like, one or a two. A scary movie, yeah, yeah because, you well, know. Well, lately I've been watching the Harry Potter, but I was doing a thing where we were watching a scary movie every night. 
Actually, some of the nights we did watch scary movies, but I try not to put so many movies into a vlog because it could get boring. You know what I mean? So, um, other than that, I don't think we've done anything else, right? I was going to go like this. <laughs> Woody, yo, last night we was laughing so much last Actually, night. Actually, thank God Woody's doing better. Thank you guys so much for all the prayers yeah. and wishing him well. He's just very old. Like, you know, my baby is so old and he just He's doesn't want to... He's going to last till the, the end of time. He, he don't really want to eat. Like, favorite. he'll sleep all day and then eat at night. So, like, when he don't eat during the day and he lasts... Like, long periods of time without eating, he, like, foams. He does his own thing of doggy fasting. Yeah. And then what he'll do is he'll start puking, you know, like, this phlegm out. Yeah. And I'm like, go eat, bro. The food is right there, available yeah. all day. Like, I'm, mm -mm. I don't put my dog to eat on a schedule. No. Believe it or not. What he eats whenever he wants, he drinks whenever he wants. And believe it or not, did y'all see how big we were? So, usually, like... Not for nothing, I thought my dog was going to be, like, super overweight because I let him eat whenever he wants. He he but only eats not. He only eats twice a day. And it's yeah. crazy because he's on a schedule. Like, he eats dinner with us. That's yeah. one thing he does not play. Dinner time, everybody is eating in our crib. The yeah. dog has to eat at 7 o'clock at night or whatever time we eat. By 6 or 7, he's, like, you know... Being anxious. He needs to eat the food with us or mm -hmm. else he will have a panic attack. Like, he has to. So, he only eat at 7 and sometimes during the morning. If not, he's sleeping all day. And I asked the vet about that and she said that that's normal. That is, you know, he's just old and stuff like that. So, he's fine. Thank God. Um, we're going to the movies this week. I don't know what we're watching because we want to watch Saw. We want to watch Exorcist. And we want to watch, I think it's called Equalizer. I couldn't be wrong. Yeah, we're going to watch the Paw Patrol yeah. as well. Yeah. I, wanna like, mm -hmm. I like cartoon movies. Yeah. Come here, Pop Up. You want to say hi to the peoples? No, no. So we're going to go to Trader Joe's, but I know Trader Joe's is limited to pumpkin spice stuff. So hopefully uh, by the time we go, they have it. Yeah, I'm not really going just. Like, obviously, I would like to get some of the pumpkin stuff, but if they don't have it, that's fine. Yeah. I want to get some of the... I like their vegetable fried rice, remember? Yeah. Um, um, their cauliflower fried rice is really good. I also like their chicken strips. I love those. So, we're going to get some of that. Mm -hmm. And I do love the coconut cashews. And let us know if there's any, like, popcorn or stuff like that that you think we should try Oh, out. yeah. The girls recommend this some. Yeah. So, I'm going to get the Cinnabon... Caramel toasted popcorn that they said. Oh, yeah. And then some of the, like, um, body care that they have. They always have good lotion, yeah. body butters, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so we're going to check them out. Yeah. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.